Uh, welcome back, viewers. Mick, what have you done, mate? Pinpointer. Where is it? In the car. <laughs> Mick's left the pinpointer in the car. Uh, we're out again this morning. Good evening. I mean, afternoon, by the way, viewers. Uh, my first target, barrel tap. Not bad, and that was a deep hole, that one. So, uh, yeah, good start. Good sign, too. So, um, have a bit of a look, Ski, and hopefully get a few coins, mate. Bring it on, mate. Right. Here we go, folks. You reckon he's on? Oh, now, while you were going fluffing around getting your pinpointer, Mick. <laughs> what number have you got? It's 22. 22 is good. Halfer. But it's just a really lovely little sweet target, you know what I mean? Yeah. I reckon it's a coin for sure, mate. Oh, it might be a... Oh. What's that? Uh, the foundations of the house. <laughs> it might be a... Uh... It might be snake charmer, mate. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, shut up, machine. It's going off its trolley, mate. Okay, hang on, I'll just take this side out. You've been doing this long? Yes. I just, I struggled a bit with that. Oh, mate. Come off it. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. oh what? What the? Oh, I oh, gouged it too. It's lead. It's a lead. One of those. It's, <laughs> oh, it's got something on it, Mick. It's a lead stamp with, has that got something on it or is that just where I? You know, I reckon it might have, they might have used it as a mould to, to let itself pour it into something maybe. Ah, I bet you haven't found one of them. Mate. No, I haven't. Do I want one? No. <laughs> uh, back again, viewers, that first target was a uh, um, barrel tap and then I got that weird lead thing. It's actually got a star on that lead thing. And the third target, I reckon that's a um, powder flask. So definitely going to have something on that. I'll try and clean it up. Oh, actually, I can see a person on that, perhaps, and a and a dog, but give it a bit of a clean and see what she comes up like. Right, we're getting the old finds, mate. Right. Uh, back, viewers, I just cleaned that up a little bit, that powder flask, and there's old mate there with a shotgun and a dog. And I heard Mick yell out, I've got a powder flask. <laughs> He's unreal. So we got one each, and apparently his has got a uh, American eagle on it. I'll just take you over here to show old Mickey boy. He's loving himself sick. American eagle. Yeah. Let's see, Nick. Let's see eyes up. What the? There's an eagle. There's, there's the other side. Oh of it. my god. That's coming up good on the screen. Yeah. Oh my god, Mick. That's an eagle. What the? And that's an eagle. You found an eagle. Hmm. Very strange. Two eagles. <laughs> what the hell? That's excellent, eh? Yeah, right. I'll keep this quiet. Uh, back here with Michael. It's the actual next day, but because we only went out for two hours, didn't we, last night? Beautiful conditions last night. It was overcast and lovely. Anyway, Mick goes, I've got a coin. Come up here. So I come up here. And it's actually, we don't think it's a coin. We reckon it's a token, Mick. Yeah, it is, yeah. And look how nice it is, mate. Nice early one. I'm trying to block the wind. Mick, you see that date down the bottom? Let's have a look here, mate. Uh, it's... Yeah, 18 something or other. <laughs> oh shit, it's windy as. Oh, what the? It's the one with the flowers is at the bottom. The, is that a, is that, or is that an early penny? Early penny, oh, early token, whatever know. they are. What the hell? A little halfer. Oh, don't, mate. You're loving yourself sick. That's how you do it. Hey, big shout out to the coffee bush kid. He did that video of us. <laughs> All four of us walk along the paddock. Oh my God, I couldn't stop laughing. It was a bloody piss up, wasn't it? All right, see you. Uh, back here, viewers, I'm just working up and down along this fence and I have a listen to this little belter. Thirty-two, thirty. oh my God. I just hope it's not rubbish now, so bear with me. I'm going to try and do it one-handed. Hang on, I have to go in here with the... Uh, the shovel. That was just a big rock. Come on, mate. I can see something there. Have a look. I'm just going to give you a bit of a look. See that? I don't know what it is. It could be exciting. I just popped it and it comes flying out like that. Look at it. I don't think it's going to be silver, but it's going to be like a big token, I reckon. I reckon it is going to be a big token. Have a look. Yeah. I'm not quite sure. I'll try and clean it up and uh, I'll get back to you. Uh, back again, viewers. I cleaned it up. I can just make it out. It's been clipped too, by the looks of it, up the top. 
Uh, I don't know if it's one of those early pennies or um, a big token. It's pretty worn on that side, but um, I think it might be one of those early pennies. Spewing. Oh, I rang up at 32. I was thinking big halfer, big half crown, number 11. Uh, anyway, right up. On to the next. Back here, viewers, with the trusty 800. I want to upgrade to the Manticore, but old mate here just does so well. Anyway, uh, I was just working up and down, up and down this little area, and I found myself, I reckon it's a coin, but it's as thin as anything. Coming up 22 it was, so I'll try and clean it. That's weird. Actually, I don't know what it is. I'll give her a clean up and try and take a photo. Very thin look. Right. Back here, viewers, and I cleaned up that real thin copper coin, and it turns out not to be a coin, but it's got a star on it, mate. You know, like one of those stars. It's got me stuffed. It almost looks like a badge or uh, like a big button or, or something like this, but it's not very heavy and it's very thin, but it's got the star on it, mate. So get on. Right. Now, um, back here, viewers, we just sat down and had a little bit of lunch. And Gary's taken off with the Manticore, and he's found himself a buffalo soldier. Well, not a soldier, but a button. A buffalo button. So, there's probably some writing on the back. The coffee bush kid would know that. He's all over buttons. But how's that, mate? So, I reckon it could be American. A lot of American stuff uh, we find where we are. And a chani. So, well done, Gaz. Finds are starting to come thick and fast, and Mick's just found himself a yeah, uh, an old English halfpenny. So get on, mate. Well done, Buffalo boy. Um, there you go, mate. I've done a reverse U. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the viewers what you were doing, Mick. So I was making my way down this hill, <laughs> and old Paulie cut me off at the pass. Bang, 32, is it? Yeah, it's only a 32. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> Oh, well, this could be anything, couldn't it? Yeah. It could even be junk, Mick, but... If that's a half crown, just get ready for the, the, the shovel across the back of the head. Do you reckon um, <laughs> half crowns normally come up 32? It could be a pen, one of those old English pennies again. This as well could be. Ooh. Huh? It's up pretty high. That doesn't sound as good now. No, it sounds shit. Yeah. Ooh, that's really high sitting up, up top. Like a piece of junk. There it is. Oh, what is uh, that? That's a hose fitting. <laughs> what? You should take that home. <laughs> what do you got, mate? Just look. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a rare one. <laughs> uh, back here again, viewers. I found this like lead blank bloody bizzo. And uh, it's got an anchor on it. So I'm not sure if they use that to make buttons with or what, but that's pretty cool, isn't it? It's quite thick. Well, when I first seen it, I thought it was a big silver coin, but something different, isn't it, eh? Hello, sailor.